into the um a, how do you get into the book you bit? Cause going to a book fair today, black authors at a black space downtown or mid city Kansas City. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can find something really nice. Let's go. We are going to the book fair. Up, 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 up. No, just coming in to look. Thank you. Get you a book. Get that mind flowing. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> Went to the book fair and got a couple of books. So be a hater. We got this for someone else. Um, Read and Rise is just like a little children's black uh, magazine. And then I found this. The Lost Tribe, which is actually, you can purchase this on Amazon. And there um, are two books in this series. I'm starting off with the first one because sometimes you may not like it and you don't want to have spent all your money um, on getting an entire series and you don't like it. There were several other books here. A lot of them were quite pricey, which is sometimes that kind of toss up when you're doing self-publishing. Um, you've put your money into it and you're trying to re it but a lot of the books were just overpriced so um but i did get a couple so i'll be doing a book haul um video later on so yay so about to start getting dressed to go to the tyere jones um center speak at the mid continent library afterwards she's going to be having a book signing so um, i'm excited about that i've been trying to make sure it's not cancel because we are expecting a um an ice storm so i'm trying to keep my eye on that i was trying not to get dressed too early because i'd hate to put on makeup and clothes and then get my baby ready only to be told that they're canceling it so i'm waiting and we shall see until then i'm gonna go ahead and get my face made up and we'll see um i think i waited you know a significant amount of time um i want to be there by 6 30 it starts at 7 so that means i need to be on the road by 5 45 um because of course there's both traffic and it's already a half hour away from me so um so yeah we'll see so hopefully it's not canceled so um, I am officially dressed, nothing too um, fancy, very simple. You can't see my makeup um, in here, not the best like, lighting. Um, there you go. So we are gonna go drop Camille off and then I have to get on the road. I'm actually running late. So hopefully I can still get there by about 6.30, 6.40. So I can get parking and at least now just get a decent seat. I was hoping to be in the room where she was, but the way my time is set up, it ain't going to happen. So um, we'll see. Like I said, it's a snow uh, ice storm coming. So I really have to look out for that. They have not canceled. So hopefully um, they do not cancel. But actually now like while I'm already in the car and headed there. Um, sorry, I'm on my phone, not the camera. And so you see all that crazy movement. Um, I was trying to find the remote to cut off the TV. And so yeah, there's my books back there, super dark. Um, but I'm out of here. And so I'll probably see y'all in the car, probably talk in the car a little bit, but yeah, we'll see, bye. So headed to the event, um, figured I'd hurry up and do some car vlogging um, just because the light is getting ready to go down. It is really, really, um, it's about six o'clock, so it's getting dark. Um, I am getting there later than I hoped for, but I'm still getting there earlier than the event starts. So hopefully I can get a seat and luckily it's just me. The last time I went to uh, the John Grisham event, 
I was able to get a seat like right up front kind of because you know most people have like that one seat in between and there's just the one person just me so I do not mind sitting next to people now you know folks don't want to sit next to you that's fine but I sit right I don't care uh, I can't see I'm half blind but like not really but I do have really bad vision so I'm like I want to sit as close you know as possible so yeah so I'm kind of excited I'm glad that they did not um cancel the event and so this is what I'm going to be taking you all along with me on uh, several occasions every time there's an event either by rainy day books in Kansas City or um, in partnership rainy day books partnering with the library um, I will if I can get into the event I'll take you along with me and I'm super excited about doing that so yeah so here we go okay so this place is far like I'm in Liberty, Missouri, which I did not realize that's where I was headed. It is super, super far away, but and I'm still not there yet. I'm actually stopped at a light kind of thing, so I'm almost there, but goodness, like why? This is not a Kansas City library. When you are this far away, when you are in Liberty, Missouri, you are not a Kansas City library, so yeah. Okay, I made it here to the library where the event is being held um so we shall see i'm excited about it so yeah here we go <sighs> and i made it here on time too i forgot to say that made it here with some time to spare believe me 12 people and not one of them took me at my word there in the front of the room i explained that roy couldn't have raped the woman in room 206 because we had been together. I told them about the magic fingers that wouldn't work, about the movie that played on the snowy television. The prosecutor asked me what we had been fighting. So, the um, event tonight was amazing. She's hilarious. That's all I have to say. Tayeri Jones is absolutely hilarious. Very down to earth. Very intelligent. Just funny. Um, I loved everything about tonight's conversation. Um, she did read some excerpts. I did not record the excerpts. I actually didn't record a lot. I think I got like one recording of it. But it just didn't seem like the proper place or time and it's just like just be present just listen hear the hear the questions um listen to her responses etc etc so, so um that's what i did and then she signed it and look she has that oprah stamp of approval um and she told the story of like how oprah called her and then she had like a day to come out and do like some pictures and stuff like that. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, but look at that. Look at that. It took her six years to write this book. Um, and then she spent one year um, on the last 40 pages just trying to figure out how she was going to end the story. Um, end the dilemma that is in the story. So I'm going to write it. Um, probably tab it up quite a bit and then i'm going to do a review on it but based on the words of everyone else who was in there it's an amazing book because sometimes like you know i've picked up a couple of the oh um stamp of approvals and just like it's just not for me they're not that like they aren't bad they just aren't for me but everyone just seems to be like this book is amazing so I'm super, super excited about it. Um, I'm going to probably start it tomorrow or Friday. But yeah, it was just an amazing event. You know, I got to hug or take a picture of her. So um, I'll include the pictures here at the end. And um, what does she say on the inside? She says, to Lauren Honorary Georgia Peach um, Tyeri Jones. I got a feeling she wrote that in all of ours, but you know. But I did bring up the fact that um, I lived in Georgia. That's where I went to law school. 
And she has three other books, in case you're wondering. Silver Sparrow, The Unveiling, and Leaving Atlanta. Uh, Leaving Atlanta is about the kidnapped children that happened like back in the 80s or early 90s. So that's a good one. One of the folks mentioned the Silver Sparrow, which apparently is about a guy living a double life. Like, he has, like, two families. So, now I'm, like, super intrigued. So, I'm going to read that. And I saw some people who were, like, look like they're from my church. So, I'm actually going to um, talk with one of them on Sunday. And I'm going to ask about, like, their book club. Um, because that can be a way for one for me to meet people, too do what I love which is to read um and yeah get some more you know stuff for my um channel um so yes yeah, like I'm just super super excited and everyone was just saying how they like really love my hair I look a little like yellow on the face but I promise it's not like actually like that in real life um but but yeah so it's exciting um so I'm gonna probably start tomorrow depending on what I have to do um work may be canceled tomorrow depending on if there's like an ice storm so we'll see Why, and what about you what look I cooking you cooking why are you standing like that she said what about me I so um anyway Okay, so I'm going to go away for now, but tonight was an amazing, amazing event. Sorry the clips I'm going to put in about it are only like 15 to 20 seconds, but just know it's because the event itself was just amazing. And I was in the front row. Like, if I were in the back, I probably would have felt okay with holding up the camera. So I'll probably do that the next time um, where I'll just sit further in the back so I can hold it up. Um, the next one through this series that I'm scheduled to see is in April and it's Lisa C, the author of, I think it's like Snowflake and the Secret Fan. Anyway, I have it actually. Um, I think I read like a, a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and reread it. And then she has the one that I'm going to read uh, for that event. It's called The Triumphant Cry about an, a Chinese mother and daughter. So... Um, yeah, I'm excited. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. Bye.